Okay, taking a look at replacing the furnace. So this furnace is up on second floor. It only does the second floor. There's a separate unit for the first floor. Um, we wanna get a safety pan into here, meet all of our code requirements. So that'll mean the return air drop will have to come out. Uh, there's two um, ducts coming off of this that we'll have to disconnect and then reassemble. Uh, but this is just seven by 23, which is fine because we only have about uh, 600 square feet up here. So that's gonna make that um, work out just fine. We do wanna get into a new filter um, situation. So 20 by 25 by one filter coming in here. Uh, we'll fabricate something to fill in the space and then uh, you know just reconnect the wiring to where it's not blocking the filter. New condensate drain is actually coming over and catching a, uh, a drain of uh, uh, PVC piping back behind here. Modify the gas and then modify the get, get replace the uh, flue piping. Bring that back into this four inch B vent that's right here. Uh, line set will do what's called a cut and flush. So we'll break in here and then put new insulation on that. Um, and then, like I said, safety pan and safety switch in here. We have uh, we have five five supplies and one return. The return's in the master bedroom, but there are transfer grills that lead us back to the furnace. Uh, and then we have a louver door that goes over the front of the uh, furnace cabinet um, that'll give us the code requirements we need.